good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Now before I start discussing today's video, I just quickly wanted to say thank you to everybody for your support on the last video about dippers. Um, I'm completely blown away by the amount of views, comments, likes and stuff it's received in the last seven days. So uh, I really, really do appreciate it. And thanks to each and every single one of you who shared it, liked it, left a comment. And um, also welcome to all of the new subscribers that joined over the last few days. For those of you that are new here, my name's Rich and I'm a wildlife photographer from Devon and I absolutely love it down here. There are a couple of subjects that I think make Devon my favourite county and one of those is otters, but there's also one other subject and we're getting to about the right time of year now to see this one and that's the beaver. Now, over the last three or four years, I've actually been fortunate enough to find beavers that live on the river that runs through my village, which is actually just it's, it's, it's mad to think really and um, I've kind of been watching them, trying to learn their behaviour and I thought today I'd bring you guys with me. It is pretty early in the season, um, we're still like mid-April now and this is going to be my first session out to see them so I'm quietly optimistic because we've had some really nice weather recently and um, as the daylight hours get longer your chances of seeing these guys at dawn and dusk increase. So I'm feeling optimistic in that sense, but because I haven't been here since last summer, I have absolutely no idea what time they're gonna come out and whether it'll be light enough to get any footage or images. But nevertheless, I thought I'd bring you guys with me, talk you through what it is I'm doing, and hopefully today we get to see a beaver. So we still got loads of time. It's a good couple of hours till sunset. I've got out nice and early so that I could speak to you guys, have a little walk down the river just to see what's going on because I absolutely love this time of year. It's definitely, I don't know, I say that about autumn too, but I think spring is my favorite season. It just feels so optimistic. And um, you've got the dawn chorus, you've got fledglings out. Well, I've seen a couple of fledglings out. And uh, you've got the birds being really, really busy. And I just love it. It's definitely, definitely a nice time just to be out. So we've got some pretty good weather today. We've got a combination of cloud and sun, which is, as I've mentioned before in previous videos, it's what I really enjoy. Um, and I'm hoping there's a few breaks in the cloud, like low down at the moment. So I'm hoping we'll get some nice light as we get closer to sunset. But do you know what? It doesn't really matter. If I can just show you guys a beaver and see one for myself today, that would be amazing. That'll be my first beaver sighting of the year and to bring you guys with me will be pretty special. So as I'm getting closer and closer to the lodges, um, there's more and more signs of beavers all over the place and uh, it's really cool to see. Just look at this. Like, it's just mad to think that a wild animal here in Devon is doing things like this. Proper river engineers and uh, yeah, I'm now really excited and I'm really, really hoping we get to see one. So um, I'm almost at my first spot. Um, I thought that I'd just quickly talk to you here, show you this and just explain that there might not be that much talking to the camera today because um, it depends. I've been here before where people stop and have a chat with me and the beavers don't seem to mind. But um, I don't really want to risk spooking them and not being able to get any images or showing you any footage and stressing the beavers out unnecessarily. So I'll gauge it. If they seem like they're quite relaxed with me being there, then I'll definitely do some talking to the camera and uh, explain to you guys what it is I'm kind of doing. But um, if not, it's going to be a quiet one. But we'll see how we get on. I've got about, I don't know, about a two minute walk. I'm gonna stick my camera jacket on and get in position.
Okay, so I've been waiting here for about 15, 20 minutes now. And I know that's not long, by the way, but um, I haven't seen anything. And we've got some really, really nice light coming through. So what I'm gonna do, and this is pretty much how I kind of always photograph beavers. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to leave this spot and head on down to one of the other lodges and uh, see if we get lucky there because this light is so nice now that I think we kind of need to move on. But um, it was really cool to see that uh, pied wagtail fledgling. It was so, so sweet, just uh, dipping away, wagging the tail feathers and uh, a nice little bonus. But what we really want is a beaver. So uh, I'm gonna wander on down to the next spot and uh, keep my fingers crossed as I walk, I guess. Okay, I'm off. Well, 
I think that's time for me to call it a day. I've had uh, more than I kind of expected, to be perfectly honest. Um, after I spoke to you guys about the ducklings and the beaver going downstream, I walked further down and the beavers were there and they were on the bank and uh, they were really putting on a great little show. So a bit of grooming, a bit of eating and a uh, bit of scratching and stuff. So it was really, really cool to watch. So I managed to get quite a bit of footage a few images, um, a lot of them, there was like muddy backgrounds and stuff like that, but it was just so cool to see them just displaying their natural behavior. And I didn't want to risk like spooking them at all. So I was shooting footage, um, trying to show you guys as much as possible, but I, um, I didn't really want to move too much. I certainly didn't want to speak. I was the only one there and um, the beavers just seemed really calm as a result of that. So yeah really really nice just so special and uh great to see them back out on the rivers again so that's the start of it now that's going to be my uh summer project i'm sure i've now got three weeks up on the isle of mull uh photographing otters over to lunga for the puffins um, and then when i return it'll be back on the beavers so uh hopefully i'll be able to improve on the images that i captured tonight but the images are a bit by the by to be perfectly honest i just wanted to know if they were out yet and they are and uh, I wanted to bring you guys with me and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the video, please consider giving it a like and leaving a comment. And if you're new to the channel, um, please consider subscribing. It would be really, really nice if you could do that. You don't have to, of course, but it would be greatly appreciated. And um, I think I'll leave it at that. I'll put the images up at the end of the video, like I always do. And for now, oh, the next time I see you, I'll be on the Isle of Mull. So um, hopefully, plenty more videos to come.